Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. Please read uh, the disclosure. Uh, today, uh, uh, for for the traders who uh, missed the webinar today, uh, we we made two templates for this precision automated trade, and uh, we were done uh, with the webinar by eleven o'clock today. And uh, this is uh, the ones we made today, and I ran it three times again. I run it three times and three times hit $1,000 target. So for those members has missed the webinar today, is recorded, and the setting, there is two, and now uh, also there is a two setting for two chart, the 46 minutes uh, second, I'm sorry, and uh, the 28 second. This one run two times, and this one here run three times and hit the target each target is 1000 so please uh, uh, go back to the uh, recording and uh, copy the template uh, uh, if you like so we're gonna start with a precision uh, automated trade uh, this is the last round this is the third round for today and it was one losing trade one two winning trade in the room we were running two contract I'm running four contracts so the ones is running for two contracts please keep the setting uh, on uh, 500 this way uh, you will be uh, done very fast with it when you put the higher target uh, it will uh, it will take time in other words uh, let's say on two contracts you want to hit one thousand dollar maybe it's gonna go up to 800 and then you're gonna have couple losing trade you're gonna drop to 500 and then go up to 800 and then drop to 700 then 900 so increasing the target means you're putting your auto trade to more work and uh, uh, we did those uh, based now the second chart the one we did uh, the template uh, just took an air trade and I just reloaded uh, to take a trade and uh, those two charts we did in the room today, they are success. Uh, and this one here had a little over 6% profit factor. So uh, those are uh, the new template and they are available uh, on the recorded uh, webinar. This is really beautiful. Uh, the difference between those two, the precision auto trade, uh, you can trade with the trend in conjunction with the reversal. Uh, the first one we did it without a reversal trade, and the second one with the trend and reversal, and here it is, right there, on the last trade right now, 750. It's going to hit the target one more time. That will be the third round on this one here, and this one here hit three rounds from 11, not from 9.30, from 11, which the market slowed down a lot, uh, doing this uh, uh, from 11 uh, to now now is a, now is a 317 so there's there is a lot of um, so it missed uh, the the spike uh, for this morning and it still uh, made three rounds this is very impressive On the precision auto trade, there is not much losing trade. Of course, it is like any other auto trade. Uh, there is a winning trades and losing trade, but it is a very persistent. And and uh, and uh, on any given time frame, uh, you will see. <coughs> excuse me. The 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 losing trades are uh, minimum. This one has a lo one losing trade. It's no longer uh, I'm looking at the PNL as much I'm really curious every time how many losing trade and we had one losing trade and double up on a winning trade and I hit 1000 so I'm no longer just looking at uh, uh, see the target as much as I'm interested on winning trade 
uh, this is uh, very impressive uh, the five range also now we did one more round and uh, took uh, two trades and it's done uh, if we take the 10 second the, te the 10 second is a very low chart very low chart and and um, not too many auto trades can survive that and it took a trade of course we started around nine o'clock the winning trade winning trade winning trade 1100 and it is 10 seconds what is the benefits in 10 seconds when the market is not moving and you are using a very small time frame you will be uh, finished for today uh, much earlier uh, than a guy is trying to swing trading and uh, today is Monday and uh, typical Monday I have said that uh, on a YouTube many times on the other channel live Monday is a good day for scalping at the beginning of the week and this one here it is a scalping and and uh, and uh, when you are using 10 second and there we go today is Monday and it is perfect perfect uh, also for a guy cannot read the market if the market is uh, sideways or not this is a really good timing uh, to put your effort and your time to understand how this auto trade work is a very friendly use there is not no filters in there a very friendly use and it is a very uh, very precise with the entry let me show you the 25 seconds on the ES and I don't care it made 1300 but this is not is irrelevant one trade one losing trade one winning trade losing trade winning trade winning trade so we have two losing trade and finally we we got it and it is uh, 1300 this is uh, the the five minutes uh, Russell and uh, one win this is the five minutes one winning trade two winning three winning four one losing trade five winning trade and then six winning trade and a uh, hit um, 1355 on the YM 24 seconds okay it was beat today as you see there is a lot of a small trades many small trades actually on the YM today and uh, one losing trade I'm not gonna count the winning trade because there's plenty of them but if you notice there are small trades two losing trade three four and hit 1000 on the spot this is very unusual for today but you can see how the trades that were small and uh, on the YM was no no action you know so that's okay I can accept that Nasdaq uh, the Nasdaq you know we show the same a uh, chart every time and the Nasdaq 590 I show it in every video and it is extremely uh, reliable uh, uh, on the uh, and then you know it's, it is an amazing hit 1000 not much movement had a small uh, losing trades also like the YM and then hit the 1000 that's okay but the 590 uh, on the on the precision is 590 on the on the TI7 is 520 because they are two different uh, entry uh, this one here is the ES 30 second and it is one trade two trade it was done by 10 o'clock kiss it goodbye 1100 and this is something else and as you see now we have a losing trade on the CL is a 10 range I mean you know you have to see the good and the bad of course uh, I mean I don't have enough rooms to put uh, many charts but uh, this is a scalper uh, the, this one here is a is a total different automated trade very friendly use uh, 
easy to use, easy to handle. And uh, today you can trade NASDAQ, Dow Jones, uh, YM with it, but we don't have any more room on, um, uh, uh, I mean, we, we have 14 auto trades. We cannot really uh, put 14 monitors. And, uh, you know, I don't want to have a suntan with the monitor. So uh, this is a, just an example. Uh, we only have four charts, and all four charts has uh, got it today. The ES one minute, uh, 1300. Also, you can see there is one winning trade, two winning trade, and it was done. Uh, this one here is 30 second ES and it's taking a smaller trade and it made 1260. This one is 1300. But just to show you as an example, and this one here is three minutes and nailed 1250. And this one two minutes and nailed uh, 1000. So if we look at it at the 30 second and the one minute and the two minutes and the three minutes, you see they are in the same bracket. Uh, the, 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 the time frame did not make that much impact. And uh, we are on the same bracket. The PNL to be higher or lower is all depend on the market movement or that the shape of that chart uh, is going to help uh, with the trading or not. Let me go back to the Precision Auto Trade, the one, the templates we have made today. As we said, this one here has already hit the target, and we already covered that. And this one, when I just started recording, uh, we uh, it was reset to start all over again. This one here hit the, the target two times today, and this is the third round. And as you see, those are the templates we made today. And this is a message to our traders. You can copy the templates from the recorded webinar. And it's already up, ready. Uh, <clears throat> uh, took two trade while we are uh, doing this recording right now. And uh, here it is, 760 uh, on that. This is a very, very impressive. Let's jump to another auto trade, the next generation auto trade. The next generation auto trade is a very advanced, is a huge auto trade. There is a lot of calculation from those indicators, from the MACDs, ATRs, volatility, the buyers, the sellers, uh, from one minute to 30 minutes, from one minute to 30. It is, it is unlimited what you can do with it, with uh, tons of, um, uh, indicators in there to actually this kind of auto trade is not made for retailers and um, this one here is a high advanced automated trade a huge auto trade it's the opposite direction of this uh, auto trade or that auto trade those are a very friendly use for beginners this here is something for a guy uh, been i mean I mean, a serious trader with a huge amount of money. You can uh, you can do very good job on it because you can adjust. Even the the buyers and the sellers, there is six different time frame in it. It's, it, 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 it is a is unlimited what you can do with it. It's unlimited what you can adjust in it, and and uh, uh, the. Uh, this one here, I mean, I don't want to scare the traders, but uh, this one here, it is, it is, uh, it is a huge auto trade that actually was not built for retailers, and uh, this auto trade, you you have no imagination how much time took us to build that auto trade and uh, it is this one here it is for serious traders you know so there is an option for very high advance actually we build that auto trade also for two different companies we do that sometimes um, 
uh, we did uh, for private companies, not on Ninja Trader and not Renko Bar either, for their own platforms. But um, so there is something for for that here for a normal guy with a couple thousand dollar, and uh, there is something very serious that uh, a normal programmer cannot do that. This one here, it was a math from a university and top-notch programmer, the best in the country, and it took those two people six months. So this is a total different level of automated trading, and uh, you have to have knowledge. Uh, so this is, I just have a couple of charts to show you that we have something for a simple guy, a beginner, or a high advanced trader. The TI7 is a total different automated trade. The TI7 has 10 different entry, 10 different filter, and it is uh, a very, uh, it's not as, as simple as the precision auto trade or the scalper, but it is a friendly use and uh, you can cut uh, the trades the way you want it. You can trim it down to one or two trades a day. You can uh, be very aggressive. The TI-7 have a three different scalper, have a reversal entry, and have many other entries. And then different filters can be used for different instruments. This one also is a very good one. It's a bit big. It's in medium. It's not like as big as the next generation. And it's not as simple as the scalper, but it can do very good job. And, uh, but for, for a beginner, I prefer the precision auto trade, uh, because it is a really robust auto trade and it is very good, very consistent, friendly use. And then once he start getting the habits of the market, because you have to understand uh, how this market move when uh, there is trouble to stop the auto trade when to 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 stop when to start the auto trade and maybe in the morning when you uh, get up and you start ninja trader you see the market is sideways you need to wait 10 minutes uh, doesn't matter if you have optimizing auto trade if you see the market is not moving you know wait 10 15 minutes before you start you should not say, okay, I start every morning at 9.30. It could be a smart idea to start at 9.45 today. And uh, the second day could be 9.50, five minutes different. So it's not just because you optimize the auto trade. It's going to predict what is going to happen tomorrow. On that auto trade, also you can scalp or swing trading. You know, there is an entry for scalping and swing trading. And you can get a big trades or small trade like any other auto trade. And uh, also, I'm not going to go through all of it, but this is the three minutes, a uh, couple thousand. This is the ES, uh, um, three minutes, but it's a, a different uh, template. It's 1,700. One, 1, uh, this one here, the ES, the 540 ES is very consistent on the ES. And uh, what really uh, saved us today is this beautiful move on the ES, and it was the end of it. And that's why he hit uh, uh, the nano with it. So it's uh, 1,650. And uh, then on the ES, one minute, this is a statement, 1,200. On the NASDAQ 520, if you remember, I told you on the uh, Precision Auto Trade, the 590 is very consistent somehow uh, because it's a different entry on the TI7 is the 520 is very consistent but of course there are two different automated trades on the ES the two minutes also again 2800 if you notice there is a little different between the precision auto trade and the TI7 because the TI7 is a bigger uh, auto trade on the precision auto trade, I don't remember, maybe it was around, uh, or the scalper was around 1200. And uh, this one here did very well on the two minutes. That's okay. 
but also it is set for a bigger trades. The YM uh, uh, 150 did very well, 1,117. And right now, as we speak, uh, we have a couple in the trade. We have the ES five minutes. The five minutes can empty a lot of noises in the market and is taking a trade, as you see. The reason you see there is a lot of uh, uh, stops below that, what we have done, we have separated the trailing stop, we have separated uh, the stop loss, and we separated the, the break even. For one reason, for the guys that wanted to do manual trading. But once the market hit the first uh, one on the trailing stop or a stop loss, is going to go ahead and knock out everything out. So uh, there is an option for a break even, there is an option for a stop loss, and there is an option for trailing stop. So that's why you see there is so many here because each one has a different purpose. And now uh, the last trade here is the four minutes and it's going, which it will go because the ES is going. Does mean this one here is going to go away, go with the same direction as the ES. Finally, this is uh, the market analyzer with an automated trading signal. Uh, this is uh, the uh, the forex. Uh, what you can see on the forex, uh, there is a forex and there is a bitcoin and there is uh, the future market. If we take the the future market, you can see the ES buy signal, which really helps. You know when you are auto traded, and when you have a three positive, you see you have a three positive here. That means the trend is going very strong. And that is, has an impact when you are auto trading by just looking at it. You don't need a price action. And then you can see uh, the when 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 the target is is or the trend is weak. You can see you start getting mixed signal between sell. Uh, uh, there is a sell position, and there is a sell position in the middle. You can see it's not in order with the other two which does mean you have a, a risk in the trading. If we look at the Ethereum here, it says sell, but then you can see it's not a clear sell. There is some mixed market in there. If we look at the Bitcoin, there is a strong sell, which it gives 2400 and uh, uh, the, the, the sell was on the entry price 45.32. And um, we have a lot of requests to cover the Bitcoin and um, the reason I don't because the, of the high risk in the Bitcoin and I I really don't want to get into it plus we don't have that much time. Once in a while on uh, the other channel uh, I cover the, uh, the levels of the Bitcoin but I, I'm not gonna uh, open uh, a live session for the cryptocurrency because I mean uh, we are using on the other channel two three hours every day and uh, we have an impact on support uh, people uh, talking so it gets crazy and I just uh, it's a matter of timing but once in a while especially on Friday uh, I give the direction or maybe sometimes uh, I will try to do that at the end of the session. Uh, I will try uh, on the live webinar. I'll try to uh, um, uh, give the levels uh, for the Bitcoin or maybe at the beginning I will see how I can squeeze that. But I'm not going to open a channel for the crypto and I don't want to get into it really honestly. Uh, it is okay to buy 5% and hand the key to your children or your grandchildren. But uh, on a day trading, uh, uh, the crypto is driven by a lot of rumors and a lot of fake news and a lot of... Uh, there is a lot of confusion out there with the multimedia and all this. And I, I, I just don't want to dive into this. Uh, they are combining um, 
fundamental with technical and he cannot do that in any given market so I, st I stay on the technical side of it which today what I have seen on the Bitcoin the crossing the three three fib lines within a split second and then it dropped and and I have seen that on the ES but uh, this this one was uh, uh, ignoring everything because this is this is spike happened today and it was like a V shape and then what had happened went flying up and then dropped immediately and that can ruin every trader's mood so if you have five percent of your wealth and you want to hand over uh, the key to your grandchildren or your children a brilliant idea but i will not go ahead and borrow money <clears throat> or put mortgage on the house to trade bitcoin you know you can get up in the morning <clears throat> What happened in the Bitcoin and the ones that become millionaires <coughs> is over. And uh, the ones that they are dying to uh, get 100x on whoever jump on that wagon when it was on a high risk, not when everybody opened their eyes, which they start people open eyes and in institutionals from 2021. But before those guys, the when they were begin when the beginning of it and they put money it was extremely high risk and um, and as i remember when the bitcoin come out i had one guy he want to pay me in bitcoin and back then the bitcoin was less than a dollar and uh, he told me um <clears throat> would you take ten thousand bitcoin back then uh, to purchase my software and uh, and I told him no I need cash you know now I'm hitting myself with a shoe because the guy was uh, willing to give me 10,000 Bitcoin uh, I still uh, get nightmares over it what an idiot I am uh, for saying no to 10,000 Bitcoin back then but what I'm trying to say is when, when the Bitcoin started, I didn't think the Bitcoin, it was going to last. So when he said, I want to pay with 10,000 Bitcoin, and I said, no, because, you know, being, I never thought it's going to survive. And I saw it, I saw the Bitcoin when it was on 12 cents, and somebody told me, get in. And I said, what is this, you know? And now I'm hitting myself every day with a, with a shoe. And um, <clears throat> I saw the Bitcoin on 12 cents. I saw it. And um, and I said, what is this, you know? And then I, I closed everything. And now uh, I'm hitting my head with a shoe because nobody thought it was going to survive. But here's the problem. You got those new people coming in and they are expecting 100x. And I think whoever hit <coughs> at the beginning of the Bitcoin, he hit the jackpot. The same thing we had a few years ago. We had a guy in the gold. He traded gold only. And he hit he had three and a half million dollar in one week, and he had to move his position from USA to Asia and from Asia to Europe for one week. The guy didn't sleep. And he came in at the low volume and he go, went on a full throttle. The guy is still alive and now uh, he is in a Houston. And, uh, and he had three and a half million dollars and uh, on one trade. And his stop loss was two and a half million and he was stopped at two and a half million. So uh, there is sometimes he hit the jackpots like in the stocks or in the, but um, nobody thought this things is gonna survive. So whoever hit and run at the beginning, he made it. But the, those, uh, the eager to repeat itself, um, and there is a two diff two thousand different crypto, and I, I strongly believe most of them will not survive. And the reason you see some other crypto, 
they go from zero to 100x because of those small traders uh, they go to one crypto because on based on a rumor tomorrow like uh, cardano on this weekend has upgrade and then what they do they dump the other crypto and then they go to the cardano when the cardano don't work then what they do they drop it and they jump to another things and they go 100x over immersion and then they lose but um, this is not stable for a day trading but if you want to stay on the technical side and that's what i want to stick with not based on a rumor so i will try to cover the charts maybe at the beginning so people they are uh, trading crypto they can get benefits out of it the beginning of the session or at the end of the session i will try to find a rhythm for it but i, I i'm not going to open a channel for the uh, we don't have time, honestly. 16 hours a day and the time fly. We get 300 emails a day. So we are really extremely, you know, we only have 30 seconds for email, you know. So we are, no matter how many people you have, you always, you know, you, you always, sometimes you have to do things on yourself. So uh, the, the Forex, uh, I covered the Forex uh, on a Friday uh, on a live um, on the live channel how I take positions on the Forex how I trade the Forex and also the Forex you should not be day trading it you should not over merge yourself and you should be taking a position and lay back a little bit so I also covered if you go back on the other channel I covered what is the best way uh, to trade so after over 27 years in this uh, business here we have traded option we have trade forex we have traded everything the forex you can you cannot day trade bitcoin you cannot day trade after all those years trading stocks options everything i find the future trading because there is no small companies can manipulate yeah there is a big sharks on on the future market we're not gonna deny that but it's not gonna be one small company manipulate one stock you know so i found the the future trading all of them high have a high risk even the bitcoin the ones they own bitcoin they tell you that it could be tomorrow they wake up and the bitcoin goes to zero you know you never know if they find out who created uh, the guy that who created the bitcoin uh, bitcoin will go to zero because he have the, uh, the the code and if he was revealed uh, the the bitcoin will go to zero absolutely so of course there is a when you have when you have something goes five percent up and down a day and you're not qualified to trade you're gonna be uh, you're dead meat before you even start and um, and uh, because they don't have respect for the market so with my experience folks if you do your homework with the future trading there is nothing easy or a piece of cake in here and you cannot hide behind an auto trade no matter how good that auto trade but um, you're gonna have losing trade and winning trade but what i find out after all those years the future market if you do your homework you can survive uh, you can, um, the, but none of them, guys, don't, don't let anyone mislead you. None of them is a piece of cake, but it is more promising if you do your homework in the future trading. Um, if you know how to optimize a simple, good, stable auto trade and make reasonable between three, five hundred dollars a day. You're gonna have losing days. You cannot have five winning days. Absolutely. You're gonna have some losing days, bad days to start with. But then once you start getting into the habit, the market movement, I think uh, the, the, the future is the most uh, stable. They all have high risk, but the future trading, you can start with a micro account. So you will, because when you, when you go live, you're going to go make mistakes. We all make mistakes. There is nothing wrong. But staying going to the um, E-mini, you can go to the uh, E-mini micro. 
So staying losing $50, you can survive the $5 losses at the beginning because, of course, you're going to you're gonna lose money at, to start with. And then when you start getting used to the market movement, then you can upgrade yourself to E-mini, one contract, and then you start using two contract and three. Con so what I'm saying is you can grow with the future trading if you do your homework. Uh, the other of the rest of this market, like a uh, Bitcoin and currency, um, you got to position yourself and hold yourself. Uh, with the Bitcoin, um, um, if if you, let's say you have 5%, you want to give it to your children, give the key. I think it is this very bright idea. Only 5%. So if, if they disappear, you still have your home, your car, and your living. You know, you don't put, um, for every high risk, there is a, a high reward and high losses as well. Uh, for the currency, if you know how to play the game, you can hold on for one week, two weeks, three weeks, and cash in. You will find out one trade can outrank every guy is day trading with Forex. Because half of it dries on the fundamental, the other ones on technical. And um, the brokers are not the best brokers for Forex. No matter where you pick them up, I'm not going to name anyone. But they have their own things, you know. So, and um, and um, and um, of course, they are there for money. And um, so, um, I strongly advise guys to to position yourself, not over merge yourself. And uh, you can look on a Friday um, a video. I have covered that as well. Um, thank you very much. God bless you all, and we'll see you on next channel. Uh, tomorrow at 10 o'clock Eastern Time. Bye for now.